All right, guys. Johnny would upscale. So, uh, this week, um, this is the week of October 31st, November the 1st. And it's, it's one of those funny weeks for us where uh, it's been real dry here. And now the temps have dropped. Got some rain yesterday, but nothing is really growing. And um, our fescue is not up. So we had a kind of a tweener time of the year. But uh, what we decided was we've got two pine straw installs this week, and we've got a commercial property. And we're just going to take the week off, and we're going to go out Friday and do what we got to do. And then uh, we'll start back to mowing next week and give the grass this week a chance to grow because everything we've done bi-weekly and everything we've done weekly it's mowed guys and when you go to the lawn you know they just don't need it right now but you can see they're growing a bit and the fescue is starting to come up next week you will be able to see the fescue so we're gonna wait until then and go out and go to work but what am i doing in the meantime take a look so i'm working on uh, equipment Take a look. Once again, damaged equipment. I was using that as a string trimmer, but it was a combi unit, as you can see. Got damaged. I'm not even going into that, but I bought another string trimmer. Uh, bought an Echo 2620, and I had to swap out my racks and i already had a new set of green touch racks so i'm in, i just installed the green touch racks and um i've got i bought a new 225 so what i'm going to do is i just took my helper he likes the guard off i like the guard off sometime i don't like it off on all of my string trimmers but I do like the guard off. I'm getting ready. I'm going to take this guard off and uh, get it ready. And because um, we're going to, like I said, we're going to wait and we're going to go out on Friday. Let me get this one off. I already took this one off. And again, there's the new green touch racks. And I'm replacing a two tier with a three tier. There it is, guys. Down there. And there it is, guys. The guard is off. So this one is ready to go out and do some work. And again, guys, like I said, we are we not we, we made up our mind yesterday uh, and this morning when I went out and looked that 
we just gonna pass this week up. You know, nothing's really growing. The fescue is not up yet, but it'll start to, coming up next week and we will start mowing next week again. And don't fool yourself, guys. You can use this time off. We take off, you know, four days. Well, since last week, we walked the weekend and then we'll be off until Thursday. It's much needed rest, guys. You know, nothing wrong with taking a little time off. So that's what we're going to do this week, take a little time off. And I'm just doing some maintenance. And also, <clears throat> I went out this morning and I did a quote on another property. One of the properties I did in the last video. Uh, gonna have to be a cleanup. They want it done. I told them it'll be next week before we can get to it. Because uh, I figured out that we wasn't gonna do much this week. So I told them it'll be next week. They said that was fine. And they were good with the price. So we got that one on the books for next week. That's it. So yeah, guys, I uh, had a little downtime. I decided I'd go ahead and get this done. Um, anytime you have downtime, guys, this is what you need to be doing. The little stuff that, you know, that's been giving you, you know, problems. Not really problems, but just stuff that you need to get done. guys there it is done so that's gonna conclude my little maintenance for the day guys uh got all changed got this done see you on the next one all right guys so today is wednesday and yeah we are uh, we pretty much not done anything this week, but uh, I have a commercial account that called and said that uh, they were having some company from some of the high artists and they wanted us to come by and touch up the lawn for us. So I'm going over right now and I want to do that. And then that's all I'm doing today, guys. Like I say, uh, the grass is pretty much, it's been dry. We hadn't seen the rain uh, up until Monday. Oh, it had been probably about a month. For, well, first of October. We hadn't seen the rain since, so it's, it's, it got pretty dry again. And the grass just, you know, not mowing. Like I say, things are happening earlier this year than they've been happening. The way lawns look now, like we mowed lawns two weeks ago, they look like we just mowed them yesterday. And so we don't usually see that until over, over into November, way over almost a Thanksgiving. So it's happening like that now. And this week uh, we've mowed all the lawns for the last two weeks and it's just simply nothing, nothing to mow. So 
our fescue is out. Uh, it's rained on it Monday, so we should be in good shape there. Next week, we should really start seeing the fescue come up. All right, I'm headed to the commercial. So, uh, got everything, got the pass draw installed done, and uh, back at the house, and uh, I'm just gonna get ready to start changing on And I'm gonna be shopping the blades today. First thing I'm gonna do on the oil chain, I'm gonna have to get these molds off the trailer, get them here, so I can get them jacked up and get them drained of oil. Man, I, I, I'll be honest with you. I changed oil back in May, and uh, I ran these bad boys all season. Uh, I hadn't changed oil. I've been checking it and making sure, you know, the levels were right, but I hadn't changed it. So I gotta change them today. Gotta, I've been I'm shopping the blades, but I hadn't changed the oil. So I'm gonna uh, get the other mowers out, and we're gonna go to work. All right, guys, so I've got all the lawn mowers on the ground that I'm gonna change the oil in. Uh, the 36 really doesn't need it, but the other four do. The uh, uh, Proturn Gravely does. T-Mac, Standalone Gravely, and Standalone Bradley, they all need the oil change, so. Uh, and this time, it's, it's the, the big oil change. All of the filters will be changed today. Now, if you follow the challenge, and I, watch me do this before I change my filter on my line most every other time that I change the oil I'm not saying that's what you should do I never said that that's what I do I change the filter every other time so today it's oil and filter change let me get to it So guys, I uh, got the T-Mac jacked up and um, I was looking to find it and one middle blade is actually uh, slightly bent. So I'm gonna have to take it off. Uh, I got it draining and um, I'm gonna have to take that blade off and straighten it up. I can straighten it up. But here's my question to you. How do you do your arch? Again, like I say, I change my filters every other time I change my oil. How do you do yours? And the reason why I do that, uh, an old lawn guy taught me that. He said that's what he always did. He said never spend that money and buy those filters every time he changes his oil. What he does, what he said he did, he would take his filter off and get some gasoline, pour it in there and rinse it out and clean it up, put it back on the lawn more. He said he, he did it for years and never had a problem. I've been doing it, haven't had a problem. So uh, that's what I do. Again, I'm not, I'm not saying for anyone to do that, for anyone to adapt that principle, but that's what I do. So and I find that works for me. Like I said, blades, I sharpen my blades as often as they need it. I don't, you know, so I hear some guys say shop them every week. Well, I, I just take, I just keep an eye on the way my mower is cutting and the way it's working, and I usually go by that. So let me, um, let me get these plates. Off. Okay, so I got my impact wrench and uh, got the top to change these blades out. Let's see if I can get them straightened up. I'm gonna 
look. No, that's the male blood. Look at that. I don't know what I'm... So that's the second time I've had to do this. See if I can straighten it up. And I'll bring it back and let you take a look at it. That's what it looks like. And there it is, guys. Straight. get them sharpened. And once when I sharpen them, I can straighten them a little bit more. Alright guys, so the last time I did a video on sharpening the blade, somebody left me a comment and said I need to wear some hip protection and my safety blade. I hear I got them up. Leave in the comments if you want.
guy so she's starting to get dark. I had to run in there and had to go pick up all and that sort of thing. But I got them all changed and um, what I do, I put a quart in a little. I let it sit overnight, come back, check it first thing in the morning. And then I'll add to it. I'm gonna put everything up. Thank you for watching my video man. Y'all like subscribe. Leave a comment up there a lot of what we do. Thank you.